Always wanted to learn how to use your own custom imagery within a product mockup, but never knew exactly where to start? Well, if that's the case, then you're in luck since in this video I'm going to walk you through the entire process and show you how you can easily do so using Adobe Photoshop. I'm Andrew and you're watching an Envato Toss Plus tutorial. When purchasing a product mockup, its creator usually provides a very clean and organized file that makes it easy to insert your own imagery within it. For the current example, I'm going to go with this handheld device template from Graphic River, which I'm going to use to promote a new Street View app and demonstrate how it would actually look like in real life. Once I've downloaded and extracted the files, I'll open up the one named Hand1 Transparent, which as you can see has multiple layers that are intuitively labeled in order to make the image updating process easier. Since our app will overlay what the device's camera is seeing with useful information, we're going to start by updating the background image itself, which is stored within a smart object layer labeled Edit Background. To open up its contents, we'll want to double click on the little thumbnail, which will bring up a new document called Layer 1. In order to add our own background image, we'll simply go to File, Place Linked, and then select the desired photo. Once we're done, all we have to do is save the changes and then close the document, which will immediately replace the original background with our new custom one. Next, we're going to want to replace the app image and we will do so by double clicking on the edit object thumbnail and then going through the exact same process. Photoshop will open up a new document called camera, which has two layers, a hidden one for a white version of the device and the currently visible one that holds the black version. For the current example, I'm going to stick to the black one, so I'm going to double click on its thumbnail, which will open up yet another document called Camera 1. Here I'll find all the different layers used to illustrate a device and another smart object called Replace Contents, which I'm going to enter by double clicking on its thumbnail. Another document called Screen 11 will open, which is where I'm going to place my custom created image. Once I've updated the original image with my custom one, all I have to do is save and then close each of the three smart object documents that I've opened, which will immediately update the original document as you can see. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, the entire process is incredibly easy as long as you know exactly where the smart objects that contain the document's images are located within the file. That being said, I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.